Hey everypony and welcome back to Pagey Time, the series where you pick the topics and I talk about them. Anyways, in this episode we'll be talking about this very controversial topic. Is MLP only for girls? Or is it open for all people, regardless of gender? Finally, time for me to talk about something feministy. Let's get started. So first of all, it is worth noting that even though the show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic has a target audience of about four to seven years old, there are still a lot of people, including me, that are older that watch this show. So if there are women who are in their 20s and 30s and 40s and up who watch My Little Pony, then why can't there be boys who watch it and people of other genders that watch it that are young and old. So that off the bat right there gives a good argument for why it's quite silly that people are ashamed for watching a show that is meant for girls. But what even is gender? Gender is the state of being male, female, or anything in between. It does not refer to your biological sex, but th rather what you identify as in your mind. So I identify as female because that's how I feel like I am but a lot of people identify as non-binary or as agender or bigender or whatever because that's how they feel they are and that's perfectly fine. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about something else. In this society, people are conditioned to associate certain things with certain genders. For example, a lot of times you'll see the color pink being associated with girl and the color blue being associated with boy. But actually, in the 20th century, the colors were swapped. The pink color was reserved for males, whereas the light and fragile blue was for girls. So that just goes to show that these ideas we have of what things refer to what genders are completely made up. They really don't exist in any sort of actual physical way. So even though the show My Little Pony is all pink and colorful and unicorns and horses, it really isn't for a certain gender. It can't. It's a TV show and TV shows can't have genders, so it can't be targeted towards a certain gender. And also, even though things like video games and high contact sports are associated with boys, a lot of girls and people of other genders do that as well. So it's really quite silly for us to limit ourselves just because of our gender. For example, if you're a boy, most likely you were brought up that you had to play sports, you had to be very strong and aggressive and masculine, but if you're a girl, you're mostly brought up to be obedient and pretty and delicate. And when you break things down, even though the male and female bodies do have a lot of physical differences, when you look at their minds, they aren't really different emotionally or socially. It's just how we're conditioned to act that affects how we act. But the sad thing is, a lot of times when people will challenge gender roles and overstep their gender boundaries, people don't react well to it. And this is why you see all these cases of people being bullied just because they're a boy who likes Mile Pony or they're a girl who chooses to wear lots of masculine clothing or something. And I'm sure, and I know a lot of you, there are a lot of boys and I'm sure a lot of people of other genders who do like Mile Pony and who do watch my channel. So please know that even though this is a female dominated community, it's still meant for all genders just as Mile Pony is meant for all ages. And even though in the show the main six are all females, the show teaches about how everyone should be accepting of each other and accept their differences because it's friendship and it's magical. So it's kind of silly for people to bully other people about the show that they like. So please don't be afraid to overstep boundaries. It's important for people to be able to express their gender by doing things that are associated with their gender, but also you need to learn the skills that are associated with the other genders. And I'm sorry if this is slightly confusing to you and if I use some terms that you don't understand, but if you do have any questions, be sure to comment them down below because I will be happy to explain more to you. But also, you guys did share quite a lot of your opinions in the last episode, so here are three of the featured comments. And I'm very happy because it seems to me that most of you guys did in fact think that Mile Pony is for all genders, which is great. And remember, please don't be scared to try something new just because it's not associated with your gender, because it's really important that we try and 
stop these stereotypes of how people should act based on their gender. Because this is a new generation and as a generation we are actually more accepting of people of other races and sexualities and genders. So let's keep that going so that the next generation can be even more accepting. And like I said, I hope this episode wasn't too confusing, but basically what I'm saying is that it doesn't matter what gender you are, you shouldn't feel limited to do what you like. And if you get bullied because of what you like, then you don't need those people and you should definitely get help to stop those bullies. But if you also want to get featured besides commenting about how to make a YouTube channel, be sure to comment your opinion on this idea of gender roles and gender stereotypes because now that you've watched this video, you may have come to some new conclusions and I'd love to hear your opinions. But thank you so much for watching this seventh episode of Pagey Time. I hope to see you in two weeks with a new episode and yeah, bye!